Welcome to Control RC. What do we have on the bench today? We have the Arma Fire Team 6S BLX Speed Assault Vehicle. It's a 1 7th scale buggy, and I've heard a lot about this thing, and I'm really excited. So uh, let's get it out of the box, take a closer look at it. So as I said, this is a 1 7th scale buggy from Arma. Uh, this body's military inspired. It's got the guys with the guns broken out. If that offends you, uh, I'm sorry. Um, it's got a lot of structure inside. A lot of reinforcements. Let's hope that body holds up very well without doing any uh, reinforcement to it. All right, so let's take a closer look at this. You'll see that this rig has really thick aluminum shock towers front and rear. It's got nice threaded all aluminum shocks all the way down. It's got the nice ball and socket ends here for the suspension. It works really well. gives it lots of travel. Very durable so far from what I've seen. It's got the 150 amp Spectrum ESC with the smart technology. You can do IC5 or EC5 connectors. One or two batteries. Speaking of batteries, it's got the really big battery tray here with the Velcro. Really like this because what I have... A problem with a lot of the rigs I buy is my batteries don't fit in them real well. We have to kind of modify them to get them in there. Kind of a pain. Uh, it's got the 2050 kilovolt motor in it with a heat sink and a fan. Keep it cool during those long bass sessions. Uh, it's got the uh, support bar here on the top. Keep it from flexing. Uh, speaking of, it's got the nice aluminum chassis on the bottom. Uh, I've never had an issue with them so far. I know some people have bent them, but that's normally like skate park stuff. And they're really not meant for that, but I'm not going to lie and say if we didn't have one around here, I wouldn't go to it. So I can't really say anything negative about that. A unique feature here is the e-brake that's set up to a separate servo, so you can do some nice power slides. That should make it a lot of fun. Overall, it's a great looking uh, buggy. Like uh, the military inspired wheels and tires. Um, they seem to be very durable. One thing I noticed is the tires actually have holes in them. Little relief holes instead of the wheels. So I don't know if it's a centrifugal thing where it forces the water back out as you run it. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Now I do want to mention that this is run off an SR315 receiver. And the transmitter you get with it is an SLT3. It's a very good transmitter. Never had an issue with it. I'll probably run that today. But later on down the line, I'll buy it to my DX5 like I do most anything else that I run uh, pretty regularly. I have very high hopes for this. It's supposed to be very durable and very fun. So let's get some batteries charged and let's get outside and play in some snow.
So we just got back from running this thing, and this thing is a blast. We tried it in the deep snow at first. It didn't really like it. I was fully expecting that. It's kind of heavy. Uh, the tires just dug down. It's not a big deal. I didn't expect it to work, but I still wanted to give it a shot. You never know. Um, so we went up on the road, which is plowed, snow-covered, dirt road. This thing is a blast. It's doing donuts, it's sliding around. Uh, we couldn't get a real good top speed reading out of it because of the conditions. So we're just going to say it's quick, it's powerful, and it's fun. It handles real well. Um, I don't know what more you could ask for if you're just looking to spin around. That power slide button works real well. So from there, we decided we'll go to a muddy parking lot. So the parking lot was soupy in one spot and hard in the other. So I brought one of my little jumps over to see what we could do with it, get some air. Um, in the mud, this thing is fully capable. These tires grip really well. They fling a lot. I get covered in mud trying to film it. Um, super fun. Handled the, the ju jumps and the ruts real well. I mean, it's, it's a capable vehicle on snow, on dirt, in mud. On the jumps, it did fairly well. It's not overly impressive. Like the Mojave kind of takes off like a rocket. This one jumps. It would jumps okay. It's it's stable. It's level. It lands well. Um, it didn't hurt nothing. It was fairly cold out. I think it was 38 degrees, and we still didn't break anything, so I was happy about that. Um, it's a great overall vehicle. That power slide button's real fun. It's 6S, great power. Kind of needs it for the size. The one issue I have is, the one I didn't think I would have, is the battery tray. It still wasn't big enough to hold my two 3S hardpack LiPos. But in Arma's defense, there's plenty of Velcro here, and I was able to strap it up and make them work. They were just kicked off tilt a little bit. Um, the only problem was, is after I put it back together, even putting the things off to the side... It was hard to get the body back on with the pins in because it must have been rubbing underneath a little bit. If that's the biggest issue this thing has so far, I'll take it. And I can't wait to get this thing head-to-head -head against the Mojave as soon as we get some nicer weather outside. So, like always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned. we got plenty more reviews coming up. Monster Truck of the Month and some other fun stuff that we're going to come up with. Uh, if you have any ideas, shoot them in the comments below. We'd love to hear feedback from you guys. Thank you.